Hi everyone, it's Miss Hanna with the Charlotte County Library System. Today we are doing our science lab program and I am so excited to show you how to make these really cool toys that we're going to build which are called cardboard ramp walkers. So ramp walkers can be made out of wood or other you know plastics or whatever but today we're going to make them out of cardboard and they use physics to walk down the ramp. So I'll show you how that works. We've also got the supplies for you. If you want to come to one of the four Charlotte County Library System branches, you can use the curbside service, or if you're coming to Mid County Library, you can come in and pick up the supplies. Um, but everything that I'm gonna provide is readily available at home. So if you have scissors, cardboard, um, some art supplies, if you wanna decorate your toy, then you should be good to go. So I'm gonna show you how to build this toy with the supplies that we're providing and I'll give you some tips along the way too in case you're just working with your own supplies at home. All right, let's get started. Let me show you what I've got here. So here's a close-up view of the first ramp blocker that I made. I printed out a picture of a little turtle to put on there but in the supply kit you're going to be given this page that has a turtle Here's one with a little gator, and here's a spider. And all of them, like the turtle and the gator, I took the legs off of the picture because you're gonna be making the legs with the cardboard. For the spider, I took off four of his legs because he'll have four cardboard legs and four paper legs. So if you want to use these, you can color them in and it'll look kind of like this guy. I colored that one. And then you'll just attach it to your cardboard legs, but if you would rather be more realistic, you can find something on the internet and print it and put it there, or you can make your own creation, whatever you wanna do. All right, so you're gonna get in your supply kit, a pre-measured piece of cardboard like this. And it might be hard to see on here, but I put the lines already on there. And all you're gonna have to do is cut where you want the legs to be, bend them, and then Part of the challenge of the ramp walker toy is to get the cardboard just right so that it will walk down your ramp. So you'll get this pre-measured piece. I'm going to give you a big piece of cardboard too so that you have a little bit more to get creative with if you want to make your own shape and also you can use it as your ramp if you don't have something else that works better. Um, so you get those two pieces of cardboard. You'll get your three pages of animal creatures and I think that's all you need so if you're doing this at home and you're not picking up supplies first just grab some cardboard a ruler would be helpful you're gonna need scissors and I used a pencil and tape so um, then I colored of course I colored in my guys with colored pencils but you could use markers or crayons or you can not color them whatever you want to do all right, so let's walk through step by step what we're gonna do to create this cool guy. Um, so basically, I'm using a piece of wood that we had here at the library for my ramp, but the ramp actually is kind of important because it's gonna play a big part in how your creature walks and if it's at the wrong angle, like if you have it tilted too high, it'll just slide down the ramp or it'll walk super fast and fall over. Um, if it's too low, then your toy will walk very slowly or it'll just stop. Um, and it could also be too slippery. So even if the angle is right, it could still just slide down instead of taking the steps that we want it to take. So you'll have to work on getting your ramp and that is probably one of the more challenging parts of this project but you just gotta keep trying until you get it. That's a big part of science and life in general is try and try again until you can get it to work. You know, try, take a look at it, see what's going wrong, make an adjustment, and then you'll be able to get it. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to work with this pre-measured piece of cardboard that is just like what I'm giving to you guys. So I had squares that were this size and I used my ruler and I measured. So these are exactly 12 inches long and 
They're four and a half inches tall. So, let me get this stuff out of the way. I'll show you what I did. Just measure it out. So I'm gonna make, take my ruler and I'm gonna measure the 12 inches and make a line at the end. And I'm gonna repeat it on this side so that I can connect the two lines and have a straight, straight line. So now I have two hash marks at the 12 inch spot and I'm just gonna connect them like that. And so we've got our 12 inches. The other side is gonna be four and a half inches. So let me measure that. This line I drew over here is pretty much four and a half inches. It's like I drew a lot of these to get ready for this craft. So now I'm gonna connect like that. So now I have a rectangle and now I'm gonna put my grid lines inside which are gonna form your legs. So every one and a half inches you're gonna measure, go to your four and a half inch line on the ends and measure sections by one and a half inches. So we got one and a half, three, and then your last inch and a half is gonna take you to four and a half. So another line at the one and a half and the three, and then we're gonna connect those. Okay, so now I have three one and a half inch long, 12 inch long rectangles. One, a, one and a half inch tall, 12 inch long rectangles that are all connected. So now I gotta do the vertical lines, which are gonna be four inch sections. So a little line at the four inch and a line at the eight inch. And I'm gonna repeat up here, four inches, eight inches, and then I'm gonna connect those two lines. All right, so now I have the grid, which is exactly what I cut out to provide to you. So now if you have this piece at home and you're ready to move on to the next step, where to set my scissors? Oh, I put them up here. Okay, so you're gonna take your scissor, scissors and cut this out. Since I already have one done, I'm just gonna use that. Here it is. All right, so basically you've got your nine rectangles that you drew on this paper and the legs are going to be the four outside rectangles. So just take your scissors, cut along the lines. Until you get to your first perpendicular line there. So don't go past the line that you drew for yourself there. All right, see, so I drew the lines and now I'm gonna bend the cardboard right there. You can take your ruler that might help you make a straight line on your bend, but this cardboard is corrugated, so it bends pretty easily. And I'm gonna bend the other side. All right, so this piece that's in the middle is gonna be like the head and the tail, and the other two corners are your legs. So just bend them down, kind of bend them all the way down and sort of really push because we want our legs to be flexible when they're walking. You kind of want it to be like, that looks pretty good. Almost straight down, but there. So now we'll do that with the other side. I had already cut the other side, so now I just need to bend it. All right, so you've cut your cardboard and now you basically have this little cardboard animal. So before we decorate it, we need to see if we can get it walking on the ramp, if you can get it to work on your ramp. So let's do that. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you to do something. So something that you might not have seen on these legs that I already made is they have to be cut at a little angle. So let me show you. I'll draw it with my pencil first so I can hopefully show you before I cut it. So basically you want to make it rounded because the toy rocks back and forth on his legs. So 
So I think you can just cut this without drawing it, but I just want to show you. See how I kind of drew those rounded edges that's going to cut the corner off? So let me cut it. Okay, so now it looks like that. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Okay, so these little edges that you're cutting off, they might be something that you need to adjust also once you test your walker. So let's see if he does any better now that he's got those in there. Try this way. See, so this is the part where we have to kind of work on our adjustments. So try not to get frustrated if you're having a hard time with this at home. I know you can get it. So I'm kind of pressing on these a little bit more to make them more flexible. Oh, a little bit. It's kind of working. try the other direction. Okay, I think I'm going to adjust my cut a little bit. So basically what, what's happening, what you want to happen, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see, is gravity wants to help this toy get down to the bottom of your ramp, right? And your toy is gonna be, basically the back legs are just like stabilizers. They kind of just drag along and it's the front legs that kind of rock back and forth. And every time one gets stuck, the other one moves forward and it rocks this way and then it rocks that way and it kind of takes steps down. Oh, there we go. That looked pretty good. Okay, so it's not doing too bad. I still think I can make it a little bit smoother. Let me show you this one again, just so you can kind of see a few different ones working. Let's see, whoop, too steep. He's running down the hill. See, that's working. This one's working pretty well. So he's kind of rocking back and forth on his front feet while the back one's just dragged down. Let me try this one again. Well, that's looking pretty good. All right, I'm happy enough with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating him. Now, I already told you guys that you can, of course, use the animals that I provided in there. Let's look at this guy walking. He's smaller, so he takes really little steps and kind of just skitters down there, which is why I made him the spider. So for this one, I totally made this one on my own without measuring anything. I used some of the cardboard scraps that I had and decided to cut the cardboard to the shape of the paper just about. And then I just hot glued on some little scrap legs and it works okay. I mean, you saw it, it could be better. I think part of 
Um, something that could improve it is if the legs were wider apart. These are really close together and I think that isn't great for letting him walk. But it works. He does, he does go down. So you can use this easy template that I gave you, but you can also just do your own thing. Like later on, if you have just some package that comes and you have extra cardboard that you want to play with, go for it. See what other animals you can create. All right, so you can go ahead and use those if you want to. I saw something else online that I wanted to try, which was to sort of make this guy into a horse. So I'm gonna bend the head up and the tail, I'm pretty much gonna leave like that, but bend it down a little bit. And I'm just gonna cut the cardboard to make it look kind of fluffy. I'm gonna cut little lines. lines cut on both sides of my tail here and I'm just gonna kind of spin it around and make them try to look something like hair sort of I think you could split up the layers of the cardboard and sort of make it look cooler While I'm doing this, you guys can color your papers if you want. Okay, well, good enough for me. And let's see. I'm gonna kind of cut a triangle into the other end. Those are kind of like ears, maybe. See what I did. And then I'm just going to round this out so it's a little bit more like a smile. <laughs> that looks pretty silly. I'm just going to draw a little eyes on there. Or maybe they're nostrils or something. I don't know. This looks pretty weird. <laughs> Can you see that? Silly. Okay. So that's all I'm going to do with him for now, since I already have so many other animals. So when your walker is up at the top of the ramp, whoa, he's got all this potential energy that's stored up. <laughs> he's walking too fast for a turtle. See this one I think could maybe do better if it was a little heavier, like maybe if I attached a weight on the bottom. I'm going to lift my, whoop. I was going to see if I lifted the ramp a little higher, if it helped. I think the legs are just too close together and they're not as flexible because I hot glued them instead of bending them. But it's alright, he still looks pretty cool and it's working slowly. Whoop. So this one is a little smaller than the template that I created for you guys. I just shrunk it down. So I used the same proportions, but instead of 12 inches, I made it nine inches. And instead of an inch and a half for each leg, they're three quarters of an inch. So I just shrunk it a little bit just to see how that worked.
I think he definitely wants to fall to one side a little bit. So that could either be the ramp or it could be like my legs might not be cut evenly or something. But that's all part of the experimenting to get your toy to work. There he goes. All right, guys, this was a lot of fun for me and I hope you had a good time. Um, let us know in the comments how it went for you. Send us some pictures of your creations. And we'll see you next time for Science Lab. I believe next month we're going to be doing, I think it's going to have something to do with music, uh, musical instruments or something like that. So it'll be a lot of fun. We'll see you then.